Why do we think that great ideas have to be complex when in reality they have to be simple? More on that. Okay, today I'm here with Isabella DeRosa. And Isabella and I just got out of a class. We were talking about our MVP. Now, I had that update from last week, and it's kind of spilled over because we were on every other day schedule. And a lot of our students were coming up with some great ideas. They were out there, they were brainstorming, they were whiteboarding. But the thought of, like, everybody tried to have this really big idea. In reality, this week we were working on minimum viable products. Now, Isabella, what kind of struggle did you guys have? with your big ideas? We had a struggle making too large of ideas, too big of problems that we would need to solve. And from that, with your help, we kind of made it smaller and smaller until we went to something that we could actually do. And, and a lot of times these big ideas may have been great, but the step one might show you that step two and three might not even be necessary. We had a lot of students that wanted to do this, if we could pull in this or plug in that, and I said, no, no, what is the easiest way you could get this done? And they're like, well, a whiteboard and a marker, I guess. Okay, then start there. And a lot of times in that process, we're showing people whether the idea would even work or not. Now, you guys came up with some, some pretty unique ideas and you heard everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, why, though, did you guys want to keep adding to instead of subtracting? We wanted to keep adding to because we kept having more and more ideas and the ideas weren't to help the previous one. It's to make it more, make it bigger. But um, the bigger it is, the harder it is to do it. Yeah. And we can't... We can't change an entire school in two days. So this is one of the things that we did. I mean, we, number one, we're giving them a starter project and we're deliberately giving them two class periods to do it. But the, we kept going back as to what is your fundamental problem? I think it was uh, Einstein that said, if I have an hour to figure out a major problem, I'm gonna spend 55 minutes reframing what the question or what the problem is. So on everything we did, is that that minimum viable product, the reason why it's minimum is that I want you to boil down what is your product, what is your idea, what is your event? Because they would have a concept on what they wanted to do, and I said, but what is your problem? And that oftentimes leads you down to what you need to do on a minimum level, and if it works at a minimum level, you can always work up. When you have a great big idea, you're always working backwards to keep defining what you want to do. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at say.something.poetic or on Twitter at Isabella De Rosa. You can get ahead of her no matter what. This is Don Wetcher reminding you that opportunities are everywhere and oftentimes they start off in the simplest of ways. We'll see ya.